Today we're painting Rolf from Zombicide Green Horde. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm painting Rolf and I use a Barbarian Flesh Primer from the Army Painter and then I use a contrast color, Gulliman Flesh from Citadel Paints. Of course this is for all his skin and later on I'm going to come back and dry brush it to get the highlights of his muscles which is what you want to see, right? And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed but this is actually one of the base characters from the game and he's also on the uh, cover art of the box. And then I use one of D&D's Nolzer's Marvelous Pigments Paint Set, Rigid Leather. I don't remember which set it's from. It might be Underdark. It might be from uh, Undead. I think it's Underdark, though. Anyway, so I use this for his boots and his uh, arm bracers. Uh, and I had to do a second coat on him because I noticed with the Barbarian Flesh, and for some reason this Rigid Leather is kind of watered down a bit. Uh, I might have to shake it or add some mixing balls to it to help it out. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it comes out really nice after. And uh, when I put on the uh, wash later on, it comes out even nicer. So here, here's where I do the uh, skin tone highlight, which is Cobalt Skin from the Army Painters War Paint set. And uh, again, this is a dry brush technique. And this is the small dry brush from the Army Painter. And I try to get all his skin as well. And you'll see that it highlights really nicely uh, the raised parts. So the big bulging muscles. Then I use an inner contrast color by Citadel Paints called Flesh Terrors Red. And this is for the crew dress or loincloth or whatever you want to call it again. Uh, that just goes around uh, the front of his body a bit. And I guess more of a loincloth. And uh, goes around his waist a little bit and also in the back. Uh, then again, a Citadel Paints Contrast, Saigor Brown. Uh, this is for his belt and his dagger hilt. And I think some other little parts anyways that are hanging around the front of his body there. Um, just like almost leather stuff. So I use this instead of a leather brown. So now I use some Nasdreg Yellow from Contrast Colors of Citadel Paints. And this is for the like leatherish armor kilt kind of crude dress again. Um, and it was a little bit more of a brownish, but later on after I put the wash on top of this, even though this is a kind of wash, it comes out really nice actually. And I move on to Vallejo's model color black. And this is for his... Um, Actually, this is for the hilt of his sword and for the scabbard of his dagger. Uh, I forgot I didn't paint that with the uh, brown. I also do the back of his, uh, the, the, the holder for his sword, so I guess the scabbard of his sword, I believe that's what it's called. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, I don't know if this was a great choice for his hair, so I went with Dirt Spatter from the Army Painter's War Paints. I'm starting to notice this seems to be more, almost looks like an effect than actual paint, but anyways, and his hair was much darker than this, and I don't know what I was thinking here, but I stick with it, and I put on a wash later on to help it maybe darken it out a little bit. Alright, then we move on to Claymore Blade from the Zombicide Black Plague War Paint set from the Army Painter. Of course, this is for the sword and his dagger. Oh yeah, and I think he has like a little necklace or chain around his neck too, and I think I paint that. I don't remember. It's been a while. And using another metallics color from the Black Plague set is the Bright Gold, also from Army Painter. And uh, this is just for the uh, handles and the hilts of his uh, dagger and his sword. Instead of using pure white for this or whatever, I used a pale skin from the Zombicide Invader War Paint set. And this is like for the stitching on his scabbards, on his uh, sword belt, and a bit on the hilt of the sword as well. Okay, then I use um, the Dark Tone Quick Shade Wash by Army Painter. And this is for editing his clothing and his hair and his sword and all that. Just to get a nice little tone on it. And as you can see, when I put it on that Nasdaq Yellow, it darkens it a bit, making it more like a leathery brown. Really comes out nice. So I paused the video here just so that I can mention that I'm going to be doing the base here. It's not great camera work, uh, but I used some of this little stuff I got, uh, little rocks. Uh, so I put a bit of the glue that came with it in this set. It's from the Army Painter. It's like a battlefield set. And then I'm using Blood for the Blood God, which is a technical paint by Citadel Paints. And this is just for his sword and a little bit on his dagger. Yeah, I'll give it some gory effects. And there you go, that's Rolf, completely painted. Thanks for watching.